15 minus 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The thing our team liked the most about this week was coming together, collaborating, and benefiting from each other's differences. In our preliminary design review, we discussed the risks associated with getting to Mars and back, prototype testing on the moon, and the design of the spacecraft itself. One important lesson that we learned from this week was that in order to successfully function as a team, we had to divvy up tasks in order to more efficiently complete our overall job. Therefore, in the future, we will continue to split up duties to perform at the highest level possible. As Jerry Woodfield might say, failure is just a milestone on the road to success. Our team was honored to be able to interview a NASA expert, Mr. LeBlanc. With his help and incredible knowledge on rocket propulsion, we performed outstandingly on our PowerPoint presentation. During the Orion Lunch and Learn, we learned a vast amount of how the future of space exploration will be carried out with a new program called Orion. Although our team put a huge amount of effort and time into building our Mars rover, it didn't collect any rocks. However, it did have some pretty awesome moves. Unfortunately, our team was the only team who was unsuccessful in landing our egg completely unharmed. However, our team was also the only team daring enough to attempt the risky zone, which was roughly 20 extra feet farther away. And while I must commend the other teams on their phenomenal and accurate safe landings, I must also applaud my own team for seeking to push the boundaries by which we were limited, for aiming to achieve not just what was expected, but also what was not expected, and for adopting the true NASA spirit, a spirit of ambition. On behalf of the Red Team, I'd like to thank our mentors, Dr. Wilkinson and Ms. Rose, as well as Stacy Welch, Mrs. Wilson, and all other supporters of the hospital.